Hello and welcome everybody. I'm Rose Smith from AbsoluteSoulSecrets.com. Thanks for joining me for the January 2023 Pick a Card uh, Tarot. Okay, let's get on with it. Okay, so we're going to draw these cards. It's very simple. Just pick a number now between one and five. And I'll do a Psychic Tarot interpretation for you. Uh, let's just see. I'll close my eyes. We're doing card number one. Card number one. What do I see? Uh, ice. I get the word ice. I-C-E. Oh, if you're in Australia, uh, we can expect hot weather, I think. Uh, I, don't, I don't think this is referring to drugs. It could be. There could be some epidemic of uh, drug use. Uh, but um, I think it's just saying that you've got to have ice in your drink soon, so it's going to be very hot. Okay, but um, what does that mean in terms... That's, that's nice to know, uh, but what does that mean if you've picked card number one? Okay, I see a group of people here with ladders. The ladders are not up yet. They're carrying the ladders. So there's a bit of a delay, but things are being set up in spirit for you to really jump up higher. Uh, in terms of your spiritual growth uh, and there's lots of crowds and they're all carrying people in groups of say 10 or 12 carrying ladders to get where they got where they want to go where they want to get to okay let's see what um, card comes up I've never seen that before uh, and the card is the two of Pentacles okay a definite focus on your finances in January of course that makes sense because you know we've just had a big expense of Christmas and all of that it the card itself doesn't necessarily indicate whether it's like positive or negative or what you know what the outcome it's just saying there's a lot of energy around finances but look I'm always optimistic and see with this green face it says to me that there's growth uh, that there's a way forward and I'm feeling like you might reorganize your finances somehow maybe you put some um, money away two dollars a week or something for Christmas or uh, you, you know you get more organized so you know exactly what's going on with your finances which is always a good thing all right card number two card number two for January 2023 I'm in an aircraft window and I'm looking down uh, on different landscapes I'm above the planet obviously uh, so this is saying look at the big picture okay of course you could be interested in travel if you've picked card number two uh, but it's more than that it's about looking at big picture concepts and sort of defining overall an overall direction for your life so you might be going in the direction but maybe it needs some tweaking uh, and so then you get down to detail level but you need to be on the right path at the macro level if that makes sense okay and then define it down to the tweaking sorry it's a bit convoluted <laughs> Okay, what do I see? Ask uh, some tears. I see some tissues, uh, and that usually means saying goodbye to something or someone. Uh, however, it's favourable. Uh, it could be too. Uh, the tears could be at the airport if you're travelling. It could be for a favourable reason because this star star card is very hopeful and optimistic. It's like sending your hopes and dreams out into the universe and spirit hears all you're in touch with your subconscious here in the ocean but you're also grounded in practical reality so that uh, being grounded is super super important because that's how you achieve in the physical world there's some butterflies here as well which suggest new life is coming and this aqua blue green color the desires of your heart uh, being communicated basically and you're doing that when you're sending those messages out to the universe it's a major arcana it's very important okay for you if you pick card number two for January all right now we're looking at number three uh, small furry animals affection love uh, I feel a sense of um, what do you call these dogs um, sort of hairy small dogs <laughs> I don't know what they're called 
Uh, hairy small dogs, uh, but very engaging personality, very lively, jumping about, uh, and um, quite intelligent and curious kinds of little beings they are. I don't, I've never had a small dog, so I don't really know. I always have large dogs. Uh, but they're sort of very um, engaging personality, yeah. <laughs> All right, so number three, what do I see? Page of Cups. Okay, this is great about your emotions. Of course, these small dogs. Okay, so this could be an energy. I'm, I'm getting more on this. Um, small dogs could be an energy about people too. And it could be those sorts of people that are very loyal, uh, that are close to you, that support you, uh, that are helping you and encouraging you. And uh, they're very, they're sort of clever in a way. Uh, maybe not intellectually clever. That's not what I mean. I mean, they're sort of practical and down to earth, but they're clever with the ideas that they come up with. And um, they're all about eliciting your emotions in a positive sense so this page of cups uh, is a beautiful card uh, regarding your emotions actually sometimes it's like a young person uh, that can do this uh, and they have a, sort of like a an eq emotional quotient that is beyond their years so there's a sort of a, a wisdom there uh, in helping you this could be your children or somebody that you know but being in touch with your subconscious, see the fish in the cup here. Uh, page of cups means this beautiful energy is going to come into your life in some way. There's a certain amount of intuition around it. See this indigo colour, the third eye. Uh, but also this blue here of the throat. A lot of uh, self-expression with it as well. Okay, card number four. Card number four. What do I see? I see a sword into the ground. This is good news. It's like King Arthur pulling the sword out of the ground. It's in the ground. It's grounded in practical reality. It means you can manifest, magically manifest your heart's desires. When the right energy comes along and can pull the ability to logically and analytically think about something and dissect out all its parts so you can come up with a solution to a problem but it's a very practical solution uh yes reminds me of king arthur okay what card do we get ah uh, yes of course king of wands okay this is a very inspirational energy uh, motivational you'll be feeling full of vim and vigor uh, but it's also somebody who is practical and down to earth. See, he's on a wooden throne here and he's got the lizard. Uh, it's some sort of monitor at his feet. It almost looks like an eastern water dragon, actually. Uh, yeah, go and Google those. They're pretty cool lizards. Uh, and um, they grow quite big too. And so this eastern water dragon, it's like it brings up the natural instincts. Uh, there's a lot of growth and opportunity. There's a lot of action. Uh, you know, this baseball bat move ahead in the world. And, and this gold um, sash around his waist here is about success and goal-oriented behavior. This is like a, a wonderful fatherhood figure or authority figure. If you know anyone like this, if you don't, you'll have to find it in yourself, as you know we so often have to do. Uh, and gold around his throat because he speaks the truth, but at a very high vibration. You know, sometimes with the truth, you're better not to say anything. Uh, but he only, when he speaks the truth, he only comes from a very high place. So that's a good thing to follow. A crown of thorns here with little buds. So he has sacrificed over the years. The little buds are new growth. And the sunflowers here, the sun, insight and awareness. And um, uh, even happiness comes with this. It's somebody who's typically uh, noble, um, honest. Uh, he's quite diligent in his work, you know, like he, um, he takes his work seriously. He's very spiritually aware and he's in control of his kingdom, all he surveys, okay? So that's a fabulous energy. Uh, maybe look, if you don't know anyone like that, that you can spend more time with them. So a bit of that energy rubs off. Do a meditation and go back in your family tree, as I have done so many times. 
Okay, there will be somebody there that can help you while I'm talking. I can see um, an ancestor here with red hair and a red beard and green eyes. And it reminds me of Ireland. But he's back a long time. I've seen this guy before. He is a king of some description. Uh, and um, it's hundreds and hundreds of years ago. But yeah, he helps me out sometimes. If if some in those days if you were impertinent to a king they just chop your head off uh, and so he can do that so he'll come through my um, communications sometimes if someone's dis disrespectful uh, and and he says things that I wouldn't say uh, because I would hold back as a Libra and I would hold back uh, but he doesn't and so you can find these energies in yourself uh, you have to hunt though that's the thing takes a lot of um, time in meditating. Card number five. Five is alive. What do I see? Gold medal to you. You're a winner. Number five. I see a gold medal on a blue ribbon being put around your neck uh, in January. So that means that you come out on top in a situation that's been maybe like a race or a struggle or a challenge. Uh, and you're going to ace it in. Okay, the card that comes up is the Temperance card. You know, I'm a Libra and this card hardly ever comes out. <laughs> you think you'd be coming out all the time because it's all about uh, balancing uh, the different realms and I hardly ever see it. You know, um, it is about contemplation. It is about achieving clarity through balance it's about being patient, which is probably why I hardly ever see it. I'm not the most patient person in the world. Uh, but it does give you an understanding of heaven and earth. There's growth here. There's action here. Uh, there's emotions. And she's blending it all together. And she's coming up with a very balanced approach to life. Uh, so well done you. No wonder you're a winner if you've picked card number five. Five is alive. All right, so let's have a look at what these uh, cards say collectively. Uh, we've got two major arcana, which is more or less sort of normal in terms of importance to the overall uh, collective. We've got a, uh, some focus on money, uh, some focus on motivation, and also on your emotions as well. Okay, so that's it. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Happy New Year and Happy Christmas to all. But this is for January, so Christmas has probably been and gone. Uh, but, you know, we're really ch turning a corner in 2023. Uh, not always easy. It never is. Life, life throws some curved balls sometimes. Uh, however, in March, uh, we've got Pluto uh, going into Aquarius. We've got Saturn going into Pisces. This is, these are game-changing uh, aspects for everybody. Okay, have a great month. And if you're new, subscribe and be alive and hit that notification bell right now. Thank you very much. And I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now. Thanks so much for watching. Please visit my website, AbsoluteSoulSecrets.com for all things spiritual. Have a lovely day.